Good morning, everyone. Welcome into North Dakota Today. It is Make-A-Wish Wednesday. Employee giving and corporate responsibility are becoming more and more prevalent right there in the workplace. From volunteering time to individual payroll deductions to even company-sanctioned events. There are many ways an organization and its entire workforce are now making a difference. Along with Billy this morning is Marella Pike from WEX. She's going to be talking about the company's philanthropic culture and how employees individually and even collectively invest in local community causes like make a wish good morning you two good morning good morning you know as I mentioned it's make a wish Wednesday we're in our blue we have our stars <laughs> at the ready <laughs> it's a good good day so Marella let's begin with you I understand that your team at Wex does a lot of fun activities all in support of make a wish do you want to tell us about what you guys get up absolutely. to absolutely thank you for having me well I'll start by giving Billy the kudos um, so Billy joined our team retreat um, back in 2019 and um, came and spoke to us about the local chapter and about the need in North Dakota. Mm -hmm. I think at the time, none of us realized the need in our own state mm -hmm. uh, to the tune of um, an average of wish a week. Further, um, Billy shared with us that average cost of a wish is 7,500 yep. bucks. Um, so there's about 100 of us at our retreat. Yeah. So we did a quick math scan around the room and we yeah. thought if each one of us came up with 75 bucks, we could sponsor a wish. Um, so really that was a pivotal moment yeah. and that's how it started. So we left our retreat uplifted, upbeat, with great perspective, right? Um, their days, our work day is not so fun, right? Mm -hmm. And we're up against some challenges, but great perspective, um, knowing that there are kids fighting illnesses and, and they need us, they needed our help so that our local chapter could grant more wishes. So we got to work, um, and by work, I mean we've hosted potlucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so come on over, have a plate, and your contribution will go towards um, raising money for a wish. Um, we did bake sales. Yeah. We did physical challenges. We sold wreaths. We, um, we made bracelets um, with little stars. So all in all, that first year, our team raised over $18,000. Oh, my goodness. Um, and we had secured a... Um, a donor match. One of our um, leaders had um, contributed that towards the cause. So as you might imagine, we were elated, mm -hmm. so proud of ourselves yeah. um, for making such great impact that we have continued um, annually to wow. do the campaign. And every year team comes up with something new to do. So this year we were big on 50-50 raffles and we did March Madness squares for those oh, that fun. are yeah. <laughs> into sports. Even um, if you're not, it's fun to just play along. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Gives your name on the board. Mm -hmm. um, maybe you win some money and the rest of it goes to the kids. Right. Um, food, of course, always. Food brings us together. Uh -huh. So we've done um, those events again. And then one of the newer ones, I would say, is our baskets mm -hmm. that we did for the um, wishes. Wine and wishes. And wine and wishes, there you go, thank you. Yeah, for the gala. For the gala. Yeah. So we essentially, um, we get the team involved. So you might have received some giftables that you are no longer using, right? right? And what better way to, um, to put that to good use is donate to our cause. Yeah. And then we collect all these items from our team members here locally, and we have team members nationwide that mail in their contributions. Okay. And then we work on putting together theme baskets. Mm -hmm. We That's really get into it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I like that you mentioned you did a simple scan of the room, a breakdown of the numbers and thought, okay, we can do this. It began there and then the donor match. It just grows from there and it sounds like it's going incredibly well, which of course is always for a great cause. Mm -hmm. and, you know, it plays a big deal for you as well, Billy. Before we head to you though for the details, Marella, how do you really think that the impact of having all of your fellow teammates really kind of contribute or get touched in a sense in the sure. same way and get inspired. How do you think that really impacted the entire team? So really, it has brought the team closer together. Yeah. Um, the first year we did it, we were in the office pre-COVID. Um, and since then, we've done it virtually, but it has really um, forced us to think beyond ourselves, mm -hmm. beyond our um, four walls. Most of us are in our home, right, working. Um, but this is a, um, a common goal. Yeah. Um, we're working together. We're living up to our core value at WEX. WEX does allow us um, annual volunteer hours. So we essentially take those hours and coordinate these different events mm -hmm. and campaigns um, so that we can give back. So really it has 
um, allowed us to expand our impact yeah. um, and lift someone else up. Um, so it's been very <laughs> positive for us. Yeah, and it's all for the kids. Yeah. We it's were joking kids. as soon as you two <laughs> came into the studio and I said, I think we have a little extra time today. It's for the children. Yes. Yep. Everything works when it's for the children. Absolutely. Okay, Billy, on to you. Let's talk about how incredible this is that companies really get together and work towards something that you're so passionate about, you've been involved with for years. Yeah. How much does this impact the children? Yeah, absolutely. And well, I, we're so appreciative. Please know Wex and the team members, it's just amazing. Mm -hmm. They have granted five wishes, over $40,000 they have helped wow. raise through these events and have just made a huge impact in direct wish fulfillment. Yeah. So thank you, thank you. Mm. So I think that is one way that it makes an impact. I mean, everybody needs hope, right? Yeah. Hope is important and that's what they give to mm. our children. And you know, there are a lot of ways that companies can get involved. I mean, yeah. you can do the baskets. We've had Blue Cross Blue Shield employees write little notes to our wish children mm -hmm. for inspiration because we give out boxes of sunshine when kids are in the hospital or what have you. And what greater way to have someone rooting for you, complete strangers mm -hmm. who are rooting for you. It can be also the, uh, we've given gifts during World Wish Month to the kiddos who are in our um, process of get, being granted a wish. Mm -hmm. And so the employees of Doubletree have helped pack those, those packages. Um, big checks are fun. So sometimes even payroll deductions, you know, and corporate yeah. matches, people come and actually give us, present us a, a big check and they feel good. Doing good feels good. Yeah. And so I think however people want to get involved, it all goes to helping kids like Amelia, who you saw at Wine and Wishes, both yeah. of you, yeah. and she just returned from Hawaii yesterday. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> okay, the incredible part about the Wine and Wishes Gala, which no one knew, is that a child is getting a wish. Granted, they don't know, the audience doesn't know, fireworks went off, everybody got Hawaiian lays, it was like I was on a game show. <laughs> it was the most incredible environment. I tell everybody, I said that Wine and Wishes Gala, time of my life. <laughs> Time I love of it. my life, surrounded by friends, surrounded by incredible people, just trying to do incredible things for the community. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, gosh, there's really nothing like it. If you don't mind, would you go over the breakdown of the cost of a wish again? Marilla had mentioned it, but I yeah. think it's important. Yeah. So because it, they all come in different shapes and sizes, yeah. right? So uh, it, it all depends. A lot of our wishes right now are involving travel, and the yep. cost is pretty high. Yeah. And so we spend the whole family, and so it's about $7,500 cash. We do leverage a lot of in-kind donations mm -hmm. through Give Kids the World, which is a village down in Florida near uh, Disney World yeah. that we take advantage of and that they donate their, their villas to our kiddos um, or limousine rides, some airline miles, etc. Yeah. Um, but it's $7,500 that is the cost of a wish yeah. average. Yeah, mm -hmm. wow. So how can folks at home become a wish maker? Well, I tell you, if your employer, you know, if, it, if you have something established, or even if you don't, mm -hmm. you know, we're happy to help small or large companies make a difference. So just contact me or look at our website, whatever is most convenient, and we can help work or even talk to Morella yeah. about how yeah. easy it is to start something small and then it can grow if you want it to. Um, we just had Caribou, if you're looking to do something like a cause marketing campaign, we just had Caribou um, open a new store on 19th Avenue and they had every handcrafted beverage, a dollar went to make a wish over wow. the weekend or uh, Culver's has a s a sold stars um, for a dollar yeah. and they've raised over $3,000 up in the Minot area uh -huh. for us. And then, or Memory Fireworks, this holiday, this uh, Independence Day, you can buy the LED bracelets for kiddos and the proceeds go to Make-A-Wish. So those are different ways too that you can get the employees involved in also making that difference. How fun and a way to get creative. I love that. Yeah. Thank you too so much for coming on today. What a feel good Wednesday. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing all of that information. Thank you. Thank you. All right, stay tuned everybody. Coming up on today's show, University of Minnesota Crookston will be joining us to tell us what they have planned for the summer months.